I've got 17 tips to playing Gene, as well as some other tips on how to play against him. After we do that, we're going to do the Gene tier list, where we give him his ranking for every single game mode in the game. But before that, I wanted to announce that Lex and I are actually hosting a super sweet giveaway with Tribe Gaming. You can have a chance to win a set of Razer's Kraken Pro V2 gaming headsets, or a Brawl Stars plushie of your choice. I mean, who wouldn't want one of these cuddly little buddies next to you in bed? There are six ways to participate including subscribing to me, Lex, and Tribe Gaming on YouTube, as well as follow me, Lex, or Tribe Gaming on Twitter. <laughs> the link to the actual competition and to all of our social media that you need is uh, in the description below, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Just in case you missed it, I already did a video where I actually broke down all of Gene's core mechanics. If you really want to master Gene, I highly recommend watching that one as well, as this video is more about the actual tips to mastering him, rather than a breakdown of his mechanics. Now, these first seven tips to playing Gene are regarding his attack. One thing that's really unique about Gene's attack is the amount of control that it offers from a distance. While it is relatively easy to dodge a rocket from Brock, for example, at a distance, it's almost impossible to dodge an attack from Gene at a distance. That being said, it does an incredibly low amount of damage from a distance, so you should not spam your shots when you're attacking an enemy from a long range. Instead, you should fire off an attack when you have all three ammo recharged up, or as the enemy brawler is about to start healing, or if you get a chance to land a complete hit on them because they get a little too close. Gene is one of the best brawlers for checking bushes because of his wide spread at a distance, which is something that only Gene is able to do. This means that playing him on maps with lots of bushes can actually be very beneficial. You can effectively deal damage to players that are hiding behind walls if you angle it correctly. Personally, when facing Gene, I find this rather annoying. One tidbit here, if uh, you blast someone with Shelly's attack and they do not have enough HP to withstand the entire attack, Parts of that attack actually will go through them and be able to deal damage to brawlers behind them. Gene's original attack doesn't actually contain multiple particles of several uh, attacks until after it reaches a specific distance and then it splits up. This means that if you are in the very unique situation where you have an enemy brawler that is close being taken out and another enemy brawler is behind them, it may actually be beneficial for you to fall back just enough so that the attack will actually split up before dealing damage to them so that the additional attacks will actually like have a chance of hitting the enemy brawler behind them rather than the entire blast getting soaked up by the original target. That's pretty situational and it takes a high amount of skill to know exactly when you should and should not do that, but it is a tip. You should play Gene passively and defensively while you wait for the right opportunity to attack rather than go for the kills. Similar to Crow, Gene is a long fight brawler that wins by outranging and outlasting the enemies rather than actually being the star player who gets all the kills. It certainly may not be as fun as playing other brawlers, but your team can dominate together if you're able to do this right. The next 11 tips are regarding Gene's super and star power. Gene's super takes up a lot of time to charge it up, especially if you're attacking from a distance. This means that you should be very careful to make sure that you use it only when you know you can actually land a hit. When you're about to use your super, you should actually think a lot about your own positioning before you do so. For example, going close to your teammate so that once you pull an enemy brawler, you guys can 2v1 them rather than uh, run the risk of getting taken out in a 1v1 fight. One really huge tip to using Gene Super is making sure that you actually have all of your shots available, all three reloaded, so that you can actually burst them out once they do get to you. Another tip is to actually pay attention to the enemy's ammo as well, so that you can bring them close to you when you know that they cannot deal out enough damage to actually take you out. But it's especially important for you to pay attention to your own health and the enemy's health when you're about to release the super, because if they have too much or if you have too little, you definitely run the risk of it all backfiring and getting taken out, which is certainly something that you don't want to do. At max level, with three attacks and his super, Gene can deal 4,620 damage. This means that in a 1v1 situation, the best brawlers for Gene to use his super on and quickly burst down are Jesse, Penny, Terra, Dynamite, Barley, Crow, Piper, Ricochet, and Colt. Now when you're using your super on Rico and Colt, make sure that you are very careful to actually juke to the sides so that you can unload your attacks and take them out before they're able to actually unload their bullets and uh, accidentally take you out. There are other brawlers that can be bursted down by Gene because they have low enough HP, but they also have a lot of burst damage potential themselves. For brawlers like Leon, Brock, and Spike, you want to wait until after they are out of ammo before you pull them toward you, or make sure that they don't have enough health to with 
withstand the first couple of burst attacks. Which brings me up to the next point, and that is do not wait until the enemy brawler is, has been all the way pulled to you before you start unloading your shots on them. They are stunned while they are being pulled, and you are not, which means that you're actually able to fire off shots, and that does give you a first strike advantage. If you walk back while pulling them, that will actually give you just enough time for you to unload one additional shot, which does mean that you can actually burst them down very quickly. If you have Jean's star power, a good idea might be to stick close to friendly brawlers who are low on HP so that you can heal them up. But another big tip to playing Jean is that if you are playing against brawlers that have shots that bounce or splash, you should not clump up together. It does heal friendly brawlers that are close to you. Now let's talk about some tips to playing against Jean. The best brawlers to play against Jean are assassins like Leon, Mortis, and Daryl who can quickly take Jean out even if they do end up getting pulled in. Also tanks like Bull and El Primo who have too much HP. HP for Gene to uh, uh, take out because of his low DPS. Also throwers like Barley and Dynamite who were able to attack him from a distance without being taken out. Granted, it is very important that if you are playing a thrower that you stay behind your wall uh, because uh, Gene does a great job at countering you if he can actually pull a thrower close to him. Now if you are a long range brawler like Rico, Piper, or Brock, you should absolutely keep your distance from Gene. Typically, Gene beats long range brawlers at a close range because they tend to be a little bit more squishy, but Gene loses the long range fight because he deals so little damage at a distance. However, only the longest range brawlers are actually better at fighting Gene at a distance because Gene's range is so far. For other brawlers like Nita, Colt, Bo, Poco, Penny, Spike, and Crow, it's definitely going to come down to skill. Okay guys, let's go ahead and give Gene his first tier list placements. If you're watching this video a month or so after Gene has been released, I highly recommend checking out my most recent tier list video because I do update them as certain brawlers become stronger and weaker. For Gem Grab, Gene is going to the A tier. Gem Grab is probably his best game mode to play. Um, he's best played as a control brawler uh, with the goal of keeping players pushed back from a distance and pressuring the enemy gem carrier with his super, preventing them from being able to go in and actually grab any gems. While Gem Grab is a team game, the best strategy is typically to have one team member get all of the gems and keep them safe. Because of this, Gene is one of the brawlers that can actually turn the tide of battle from a loss to a victory by using his super correctly. He can be played somewhat as a long range gem carrier, but he does struggle a lot against Pam, who has so much health and healing, not to mention the fact that she and the other gem carriers typically deal a lot more damage from a distance. For solo showdown, Gene is going to the B tier. He can be played, but he tends to struggle a lot on the showdown due to his own lack of damage. This makes it very hard for him to get power points from boxes, and his star power is completely useless there. Not to mention he has to be incredibly careful about which brawlers he does actually pull with his super, unless of course you've already gotten a ton of power points at that point you probably deserve the victory anyway. Another great game mode for Gene is Duo Showdown, where he is going into the A tier. With a teammate, Gene actually plays very well in Duo Showdown because you can coordinate supers and work together to open up boxes. His star power also gets a lot of benefit due to the fact that it's typically a good idea to stay close to your teammate when you're playing Duo Showdown. His supers are also very threatening and can even be used to guard players or prevent them from getting too close uh, to power points for fear of actually getting hooked and getting blasted by Gene and his teammate. For Brawl Ball, he's going into the B tier. I originally thought that he was going to be an excellent option in Brawl Ball due to his ability to grab a brawler and create an opportunity for you or your teammate to actually score a goal. He still is a good option on the right map, but his super is not nearly as impactful as Terra's super, and the meta really doesn't favor him at the moment right now for a Brawl Ball. For Bounty, Gene is going into the B tier. He has the longest regular attacking range in the game, aside from Spike if Spike's attacks are perfectly angled. And I was actually kind of surprised to see that he had a little bit of viability in Bounty because of his range. That being said, his super is incredibly difficult to hit at such a long range, and he does such little damage from a distance that there are just many other better options uh, for Bounty. Gene's worst game mode by far is Heist where he's going into the F tier. Just don't play him in heist, he is awful. Not only can he hardly do any damage to the safe from a distance, his super actually pulls brawlers closer to you, which means that he's actually closer to the safe, and that is not good. So yeah, don't play Gene in heist. As you can see, this means that Gene is starting off with a total score of seven, which is slightly enough to place him in the A tier overall. Granted, he is definitely on the weaker side of the A tier. I would not be surprised if we saw a little bit of a buff 
to Gene within the next balance changes. Personally, I think increasing the width of his super might be a good place to start, and then either increasing his HP or his damage would also be a, another good place, uh, simply because Gene's mechanics kind of like go against each other, where he he's a, he's a hook brawler, he can pull somebody close to him, but then he doesn't have the potential to really deal with them himself. He a lot of the time relies on a teammate or something else to actually uh, do the damage for him. With that being said, I actually really like Gene. I love that he's introducing a totally different set of mechanics to the game, and I'm really excited to see what Supercell does with him in the future. You guys will have to let me know what you think about Gene, and definitely put that in the comment section below. I also want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.